Here at Featherstone High School, we have a variety of science enrichment um, programs and clubs for our students ranging from Key Stage 3 all the way up to Key Stage 5. Every year we have our annual Science Week. During this week, we have a variety of interesting speakers come to speak to our students um, about current topics. So for example, Imperial College London came in to speak to our sixth form students about how ventilators are designed. We've had uh, physics lecturers come in from UCL, Queen Mary's University to discuss uh, with our students about, about space and providing very challenging questions for them. With Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4, we've had the Animal Roadshow come in, uh, where students have um, got to you know, discuss various animals who are, you know, which are endangered, and got to, you know, get to hold all these various animals as well. With Key Stage 4, we've had um, Queen Mary University come in and to do a variety of STEM workshops with our Key Stage 4 students. There's been many opportunities throughout the years, through Year 7 to Year 13. There's been Science Week every single year where we participate in animal road shows, jam event. We had one very recently about where Imperial College London came over and visited us and spoke about their new inventions and new technology and how everyday science is evolving. And personally, I think it's a great opportunity and even motivated me or helped me make my mind up for my future career path in medicine. One of the biggest achievements uh, our sixth form students have um, gained um, is the Imperial College University Challenge, which involved tackling a problem, and that problem was about heart disease and how we could combat heart disease, especially amongst the elderly. We won the British Heart Foundation competition, e-poster competition with Imperial and the British Heart Foundation. We were up against um, really prestigious schools, private schools and grammar schools. There were 50 schools that applied and only 10 were shortlisted. And out of the 10, I believe only two of them were state school, one of them being us. Um, and us winning is an incredible achievement. Fenton High School is really good in science department and they always make sure that students who really want to pursue a career in medicine and anything, science related, dentistry, engineering, anything like that, they make sure you really get to where you want to go. And I remember from year eight, my head of year actually arranged a talk from Oxford for us in school. And after that, we did a project with them about making materials matter. And we looked into material science, we visited the university, we did experiments there and here, and throughout the course of the year. And then we ended up doing a presentation at the uni as well, in front of like eight different other schools as well. And just that whole experience alone boosted my UCAS application so much when applying to university this year. Hi, I'm Mr. Davis from the Physics Department at Featherstone High School. Um, here at Featherstone, we are trying to encourage as many girls as possible um, that want to take physics to follow it through at A-level. Um, we've got a very supportive environment uh, to encourage uh, girls to do that. I would say that there are a lot of opportunities here at Featherstone. The teachers are very supportive here, especially when it comes to science, because they know it's a very challenging and demanding subject. At the beginning, there were a lot of boys. I found it very intimidating at first, because there were four girls in the class and there was almost 20 boys. The girls there are really lovely. They're so supportive even the teachers and the boys there as well. I was actually thinking about doing physics at university or something to do with engineering. I love how it challenges me. I love how it applies to the real world. Like ev there's physics everywhere if you think about it. We have a science week every year, um, which involves uh, lots of enrichment activities where people can do different workshops, more of a hands-on uh, feel to how physics can be uh, useful. In, in the world around us and all different applications. There, were, there was a drone session which I particularly find very interesting. We were we had to code drones and we had to like send them to different areas around the room using like different iPads. And also in science week we had a professor from UCL come in talking about quantum physics, uh, how there are different uh, new discoveries in quantum physics uh, nowadays. I found it very fun and interesting actually because it, it linked to what I'm learning in physics currently. Hi, my name is Nisteha Omi. I'm currently first year medical student at King's College London. Um, I, during my time at Featherstone High School, I was given so much support, including the ability to get work experience at St. Mary's Hospital. And that really sparked my interest to pursue medicine as a career. Not only that, I was part of a programme called FHS Scholars, in which I was 
given so much interview practice in which I became more confident and I was really ready for my, when my interviews actually came. Not only that, I had a lot of teachers who were very knowledgeable in the medical field and that they kept, they were able to look over my personal statement and really just strengthen it. So I was really confident once I sent my application off. Hello and welcome to Health and Social Care. We pride ourselves with having a teaching team that are healthcare professionals themselves. So they have got work experience and are currently registered within Health and Social Care and currently practice. I myself am a registered adult nurse. So that allows students to feed from the occupational experience from their teachers in order to incorporate that into their exam preparation as well as their coursework. Hello, my name is Manal Ali and I've been studying Health and Social Care and Science at Featherstone High School. I feel like in the time that I've been here, my teachers have been really motivational and they've really helped me develop my skills which have also inspired me to take on a career um, doing diagnostic radiography at St. George's University.